Welcome to What's Up Wednesday with Renee Weaver-Wright. We're very happy to have you with us here today for our weekly show about My Virtual Academy. Um, one of our regular viewers for this show <laughs> is my Aunt Barb. And I had the opportunity last week to see my Aunt Barb and uh, she gave me a necklace. And this necklace is a tree. And we're from a very large family. My dad has uh, nine brothers and sisters, and I have 38 first cousins wow. on my dad's side. And so every um, five years, we do a big reunion, and I help plan it, and the logo is always a tree. And that tree, to me, symbolizes all the different branches uh, of my family that are there to support me and to help me with things. And my Aunt Barb saw this necklace, and uh, she picked it up for me and gave it to me. So Beautiful. I, uh, isn't that pretty? I just Beautiful. love it. So and I really... Um, really appreciate uh, her support and all our family support. Another support system I have is um, my my friend Doug, who um, we were just giggling mm -hmm. about. My friend, one of my best friends since first grade, and I had the opportunity to see him yesterday, which was my birthday, and he gave me this box of chocolates that uh, came from Berlin. He brought it all the oh, way wow. back from Europe, from Berlin, and so he uh, shared that with me last night for my birthday. And uh, what a gift it is to have friends and to have uh, supports like that, like my my aunt and my family and, and my friends and um, not all of our students we find have that support built in and so we try really hard at my virtual academy to figure out whatever way possible to give students all the support they need and not just the students but the parents mm -hmm. too because the parents have to be involved and it's a, it's a difficult thing um, to make sure that your child gets a good education and I'd like to introduce one of our, our supporting cast um, <laughs> who's been part of our ATS tree mm -hmm. uh, for a long time part of our MBA team since the very beginning and that's Jennifer Krautner and Jennifer is starting her 11th school year yes. with us and she started out she was a tutor mm -hmm. uh, back and then she began um, to become very instrumental in the creation of my virtual Academy Do you want to talk just a little bit um, Jennifer about what your role sure. is um, currently I'm the my virtual Academy registrar so I am in charge of when a new student comes in doing a credit evaluation on them making sure we know exactly which classes they need for graduation then once that is finished, I assign the classes to the student and also assign the teacher to the student. Then once a student completes a class, I submit the grade to the district and put on the next class for the students. So it's kind of individualized per student where as soon as the student completes a class, mm -hmm. the student gets another class, which makes us a little bit different from traditional school because we're more paced based on the student. Mm -hmm. And we really encourage our students mm -hmm. to just take one class at a time yep. and be successful in that mm -hmm. one class before they move on to their next one. We've found at every conference mm -hmm. we go to about virtual learning, they suggest that yep. students just take one class at a time mm -hmm. and move on uh, to the next, the next class. Because I've taken virtual classes like for my master's degree and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. when, you lo when students log in and see uh, all the work for the entire semester, mm -hmm. it looks really overwhelming to oh, them. Yes, so yes. by cutting down on their number of classes, it'll allows the student to focus on smaller amounts of information mm -hmm. and therefore get better grades and feel right. more success. Right, and that's what we want. We mm -hmm. want our students to finish their classes. And, and our students this year really are finishing classes at a much mm -hmm. uh, stronger pace, not just our new students, but our returning, returning students as well. Returning students. Pretty yeah. much consistently every month we've almost doubled our number of completed classes mm -hmm. that we've had mm -hmm. since last year. So yeah. the students are doing a great job and this I th year. I think they're really getting the hang of mm -hmm. the virtual learning yes. kind of thing. Correct. Um, now, um, and, and you take great care when you review the <laughs> transcripts, mm -hmm. don't you? Because we don't want students to repeat Correct. classes that they don't need. Correct. So we are very careful. Yes, um, we double and triple check everything mm -hmm. just to make sure that the students have their correct classes their correct per student. Classes. Right, right. So that's, um, you know, we don't want to waste anybody's no. time. <laughs> so, or the parents' time and, and mm -hmm. that sort of thing as well. So we really take care with that. And you you inter, you uh, interface with the school districts as well. Yes. Yep, don't I work you? with the school districts mm -hmm. via email, via phone, just to kind of work out the best plan for the student. If they're mm -hmm. struggling with a certain class, 
we do set them up. I'll refer the district to the teacher, mm -hmm. and we'll get the student a little bit more support to ensure that they're successful in their coursework. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, um, in addition to being the registrar, <laughs> you also help tutor students, I do. don't you? I in, tutor in chemistry. In chemistry. I yes. can't hardly spell chemistry, let alone think about tutoring Well, I'm a math chemistry. person, so the chemistry okay. comes, comes easy for me. So. Oh, okay. Okay. And then what the tutoring is, is we do a lot of over-the-phone tutoring. Our math tutors they use more of like a whiteboard but chemistry mm -hmm. I am able to do it over mm -hmm. the phone mm -hmm. so I call up the student and we go individually over either the mastery test or if they're really struggling with the material mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go through the tutorial with them all okay. over again to make sure they have mm -hmm. that lesson down before they go into the mastery test mm -hmm. okay. so I do that over the phone with them and which is nice because that gives me one-on-one -on -one interaction with students, mm -hmm. which I mm -hmm. don't always get right. evaluating transcripts right. and submitting grades and things right. like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This this time of year, especially, is mm -hmm. is slower with your student interaction Correct. because you're scheduling so many students. Correct. But holy cow, the end of the year when the graduates are coming left and right. How many That's graduates? That's my favorite part. How many graduates have we had already this so year? So far, we have 15. We do oh, wow. have another one. I just found out finished her last two classes yesterday, so I have Good. to run downstairs and grab her folder. <laughs> so we can check over her transcripts yeah, and make sure that sure. she is good to go. So that's where I'm going after this. I'm running downstairs <laughs> to get her folder. And because some kids come to us, they might be mm -hmm. 16 years old, Correct. they might be 18 years old, and they might just need a couple of credits mm -hmm. to finish up. Correct. And then there's some 18-year-olds we get that don't have any high mm -hmm. school credits. And in Michigan, kids can um, uh, be funded through the age of 22. Correct. So if you know someone that is mm -hmm. in that 18 to 22-year-old age range that doesn't have their high school diploma. Have them call us. That's we can right. Help. That's right. Because uh, they're after 22, it's then they're pay for it on, on your own. own. Yeah, mm -hmm. pay for it on your own. So we really, it's really important. Kids take advantage of that mm -hmm. opportunity. Do you have any? Um, you, you've worked with so many students over mm -hmm. the years. Do you have any favorite stories of any oh, there's students? There's so many. <laughs> there's so many because um, I've been with MBA since the very beginning. So I'm like going back to years ago. We've had some students who enrolled with us. I'll tell, we were talking about this student earlier. We had a student, he enrolled with us, I think it was the first full school year. Mm -hmm. He attended with us, wanted to go back to traditional school. Mm -hmm. He made some poor decisions, so he was, I don't want to say incarcerated, but locked up somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then last year he came back to us and said, mm. is there anything that you can do to help me? Oh, he was gosh. 21, 22 wow. years old. Wow. And his mentor and I, we worked together, set up uh -huh. a plan with him, uh -huh. and he was able to graduate wow. last school year. Wow. And he's doing great because I actually yeah. have his sister as one of my oh, students okay. now. And I ask about him yeah. and he's working construction. Yeah. He has a full-time job, oh, wow. so he's doing great. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That is awesome, and and life happens. You know, people, things happen. Things happen, mm -hmm. and uh, and that's one of the the good things about our program and the way we're set mm -hmm. up is that we can we can work with kids yep. that are in difficult life situations. Uh, you know, we talked a couple weeks ago with Nikki Bishop about mm -hmm. the young parenting yes. program. I think I heard her talking about a student who had a baby, and they had sent the email out before she had the baby, mm -hmm. but she she responded like to join the mm -hmm. club like within a week. Of when she had the baby. And you it's, know, it's so. crazy to see students and how they bounce back from those situations mm -hmm. just by having the support here, yes. which a lot of times they don't have at home right. either. Right, right, right. It's, yes. it's so neat to see. It's my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. And then, of course, graduation. You said when the graduates come, that's I your always favorite. love graduation, too, <laughs> is when seeing the students walk across the stage and we can finally put faces to uh -huh, our students. Uh -huh. And they'll be like, and I'll tell another story, too. Okay. Because I have my... I just thought of another one is there was a student a few years ago he was with us for like a year or two and I was like he's gonna be my project I'm gonna call him and make sure he stays on track because he had a bunch of math classes left because mm -hmm. some students like to avoid oh, their math right, and save it for the right. end which we don't recommend it's right. very hard to do that yeah and I would just call him every week and I'd say okay when are you gonna work 
Mm -hmm. I was a little more forceful with him because I knew he needed a little mm -hmm. bit more forceful person. Right, right. And I'm like, he's like, I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm like, well, if you don't, I'm going to call you. Uh -huh. And if he didn't work, I called him the next day and yeah. said, you didn't work. Yeah. And yeah. I saw him at graduation and he came up to me and he said, thank you, because oh. without you checking in on me and mm -hmm. making sure I stayed mm -hmm. on track, yeah. I wouldn't have graduated. Yeah. Yeah. And he was yeah. there with his young son oh, gosh. and everything. Wow. And he was so proud to show his yeah. son that he graduated yeah. and he did. Yeah, it. yeah, that's a huge, huge thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, well, thank you, Jennifer, oh, for all welcome. you do for our students, thank you. and you have since the very beginning, and, thank and we you. just really appreciate that, and we appreciate your enthusiasm and getting people to <laughs> ring that bell when we that's have another right. graduate, and, <laughs> and um, you know, that's a way that we we kind of have success. And, mm -hmm. and like Jennifer said, you know, we really try in every way, shape, or form to support um, mm -hmm. our kids because not all of them come from a family where they have 38 first cousins mm -hmm. and, and family members to support them or none of them have the the friends uh, like many of us are, are able to have that that mm -hmm. help get them to reach their goals and so we really feel it's our responsibility to do whatever we can whatever it takes to help our kids to succeed to get that high school diploma for sure and get that bell rung yep. so yeah well thank you so much for joining us today on what's up Wednesday I think Jennifer and I are gonna have a piece of that Berlin chocolate oh yes please uh, so <laughs> have a good week and we will see you back here next week for what's up Wednesdays with Renee Weaver Wright thank you